When I, when I watch you play, I feel like you have a very unique sense of space. You know, for me, I was very, I was quite an explosive and a good athlete, so I use my physical traits. When I watch you, I feel like one of the hardest things for any midfield player is to kind of be in, in, in between the lines, mm -hmm. in the space. It feels like you look, I think that was the hardest thing as, as a centre. You make it look very easy, you know, that, that, you're, that you're comfortable. Is that, did you work on that? Did you know, or is that something you were taught? Or how did you, how did you get so comfortable kind of being in and among, because it's chaos sometimes yeah. in, a, in a game, isn't it? You know, yeah. the high speed, but you look so, you look so comfortable. I think everything in life is about practice and getting experience with, uh, with the area that you want to be better. So at the end, you start to play as a midfield, so you have to be in that space. Uh, for sure, I don't have this physicality. I don't have uh, this kind of feeling that, OK, I saw the space there, so I will run like uh, more than three, uh, 30 kilometers per hour there because well, it's not my point, so I have to be strong in, in, in the things that I think I'm strong. So it's one of that. And if you get used to playing that position, you just feel comfortable to be surrounded. Because it means that if it's one player, okay, I, I, I can dribble him. If it's more than one player, you say, okay, there is someone that's free. So you feel comfortable with that. At the end, I, I, I love to dribble someone, but I, I, I'm aware if there's two or three players with me, it means there's another two players free in the game. So I feel comfortable with that. Right, we're going to break down some of your clips. You're going to have to take the ball. Thank you. I'm going to take this so we can see and just watch, just kind of, you kind of add your game. Okay. So, is your first thought always forward when you when turn over possession, always play forward? Or is it just to play the right pass the best, in the right moment? The best thing is to go forward because, yeah. of it, you, because you are doing like a transition because the, be, between defending and attacking. But for sure, you have to give uh, proper balls uh, forward to uh, have this continuity of the game. Let's look at a couple more. Isn't, I mean, isn't this, this, that pass is crazy. It's not, it's not, there's not even any space. There's not any space to even get it in there. Yeah, you know? because it depends what, how they play. Maybe if they play three in the, in the midfield, it's, it's more difficult because they close uh, the gaps better. But they, when they play with four, sometimes the wingers are not so... They don't have this kind of uh, defending behaviour to say, OK, the ball went there, so I have to to the other side, so I have to close my side. Sometimes they don't do that, and, and you have to understand and know which player to say to think, OK, he is really a worker or he's not, and you have to think before the game. Is this one of your favourite passes? Because there's a little there's a little no look on this one as well, which which is remarkable. I don't know how anybody hits a no look at that that far. I mean, is that is that one of your your favorites? Well, the no look? more than more than a look is is getting power. At the end, you are looking the ball because the first control was not good because the ball was bouncing, and at the end, you have to look the ball to 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 see when the ball is closer to the floor to make a uh, a proper pass. So just because of that, it was not more than a no looking. You don't want to look to the guy that you want to pass the ball. Yeah, that's the aim. Yeah. Do you play certain passes depending, obviously, on on, on who you're playing with? For sure. Yeah. For sure, that's why the adaptation to, uh, always takes time because it's not just how, uh, the game is in training, how they move, how they want the ball, how they act or react with the ball. So you have to get to know them. And I think it's a big aspect and they have to know you to say, to say OK, he's able to give me the, this pass, even the ball is between his legs. So it's important. Look at it. Let's look at some more. I mean, that is such a, such a difficult pass, obviously with the outside of the right. Do you, like there, that one between the lines is such an important pass in the, I think in the top game, you know, obviously with, if you can break lines there and break their midfield, you, you get in a, in a fantastic attacking position, don't mm -hmm. you, for, for, for your players. Can uh, Talk me through that pass. Obviously, everybody thinks you're looking there. I'd say, I think that's Trent. You know, that one, when do you decide to make that? Because at the end, you break lines faster. You are giving a better position to your team faster than dribble the ball, driving the ball, giving a pass uh, to our fullback, and then uh, restarting the, the attack. So you just have to uh, think about how you can uh, have this uh, uh, fast thing to your team to attack better. But also, it's about the movement of the guy, of the of the rival. So if the other player is moving somewhere, you feel that he's bored in the left side, so the ball will go to the right side. Is the feeling of the game. You have to have this feeling.
when I when I watch you play, and I think one of the most important things Paul Scholes was to say, he looked like he always had time. He always had time on the pole. The top players have time. Xavi and Yester, yourself. I think a lot of young kids don't understand. A lot of that comes from actually just checking your shoulder, doesn't it? You mm -hmm. know, yeah. being aware of kind of what's around it. Yes, yeah, it's important for midfield players to create. First of all, create your space, the space that you want to to receive the ball. I think that's the first uh, the first thought. Then the second thought is okay. I will be some meters, but maybe one, two, doesn't matter, five meters from the place that I want to receive the ball. And while you are going there and you know your your teammate will give you the ball, you have to make some looks to know where the guys are from the other team and from your team. And to also it's not it's also important to not just look but how your body is. Yeah. Because if you receive the ball here, the game is here. So where is the biggest space? The biggest space is here. So we have to put your body in some way, perflate your body in some way to have the bigger picture. I mean, these are some of my favorites of you. This is what I think you do almost better than anyone in the world, just receiving that obviously little glance there. You know he's coming. And that kind of, that seems like one of your, one of your best ones. Yeah, because it, it will depend. I, I already put my body to the favor of the game, but then Joey gave me the pass on my right side instead of my left. So instead of receiving the ball and going here, knowing that I have one, two, and, one, and the third coming back, he gave me the ball here. So I wanted the ball here in this, in this foot, but yeah. he gave me here. Because was my space here? Because was the space here? I am here and I have three players, so someone is free. So if I orientate here and I look at the game, it would be better for me. There's always kind of a, a, a mini plan, I guess, yeah. on, on you every always have to, you, have, you always have to think faster, because as, as I said at the beginning, running is not my thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a guy to, who can run like uh, 50, 50 yards and, and feel comfortable with. I can for sure. But my thing is to make the team play slower, faster when we have to. And knowing that there are the guys who will be better in other, in other tasks than I, that I am. So it's knowing that and being intelligent of, okay, what, how I am surrounded, how I have to think. If now I have to think faster, I have to just relax. It's the interpretation of the game with my skills. Do you watch? Do you watch the opposition? As I say, if you can uh, do your homework, it's, it's like you, if you go to an exam. You have to study for the exam. Yeah. So it's the same in football. You you have to study or you have to practice how you do the things, but you have to to know how they do the things. Yeah. So between what, what we do with with our coach staff in training and how you want the things, you have to. That's mixed to be prepared for that exam. And if, if we can have an exam every three days, much much better. If we can play Premier League, Champions League games, Cup games, so you have to be prepared. It's yeah. about generating or creating some space in one side to go to the other side. Or, or it's about that. It's about, it's about to be very tight or very, or very wide in football. I love that one. But if you see, if you see how he moves, at the end, I want to go here. I want to go. My space is here, but ah, you think, he, he took it away from you. Basically. Yeah, yeah. But but you you see his movement is more okay. I'm giving you this because I want that you go here, and when you do the first move to go there, you see that he wants that, and you go. It's about reaction. Yeah. And sometimes in football, you ha you had in your in your time, like thousand times as well. It's about the flow of the game. Yeah. When you are into the game, when you are leaving the game. You just react on the game. Or yeah. You you couldn't think that much. No. In football, you no. couldn't think that much. It's all instinct. Yeah. It's very, yeah. The flow it means how you how you react with all the things you know in in your natural way. Always, my father say, football is a, a joy with with uh, responsibility. Yeah. It's about that. It's a good way of saying it. So, this is a kind of, as I say, habits that you have to have. But when it's football coming, you, you react, you know. It's I love that one. That, I mean, that one is like, that one is super special because if I was playing and I had you there, I would 100% think, oh, I got you. Yeah. And you. And you know that, don't you? You're, you're like, you set me up, basically. Yeah, yeah. How did you learn that? How did, how did you learn that? Oh, as as we we try to incorporate things in our life in football, uh, it's one of the things that I, I saw when I was young, and you just keep like doing trainings, games, and in some point you just say, okay, I'm really good doing that. It's one of the the tools that we use if I am in in an awkward situation and to dribble. Why not? I will give him some the team the out my team a bit more chance to progress with the ball. So 
and it's not just one one thing. I think you have to have more things to to give a balance to your game. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a, a no look switch. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Only Scholes, Paul Scholes can do that. You and Paul Scholes. He was then, really good. He was amazing. He was really good. I love how he and Xavi they switch the ball. They, they, they were amazing. So for you, when you're, would you say that's a big thing if you, if you receive it kind of here, you're always looking to get to the other side, you know, get it, get it to more yeah, is that kind of... It's, it's a space. It's yeah. not about just the player, it's a space that you have. Where the team will progress better is that one. Yeah. Sometimes you are cooking the game here and to, to the final product is there. You have, and football is about cheating. Cheating the way that the ball is here, the ball is here, knowing that it will end up there. Yeah. I think that's the main, the main thing of the football too. Uh, make the make the other team think. What do you wanna what do you wanna make them think? You know. Yeah. It seems like your a lot of your skills and tricks they're still very functional. You know, you see a lot of kids now they do skills like on YouTube. My kids love YouTube and they're watching yeah. all these skills. But actually, they're not practical in a in a game setting, yeah. are they? Whereas all your skills are quite they're very functional skills, aren't they? You know. Yeah. It's, it's what do you what do you try to to incorporate to your game? One thing is okay. How can you use the skill? Uh, I think it's more the skills that they show us in those days is to get out of some weird situation. situation. Yeah. Exactly, not to make them every minute that you have the ball. It's just about okay. Now I'm in a situation. I don't know where to go. I do this because I, I have to go out from here.